30 minutes late. Yes. Weather a little thick over the mountain. Better late than never. Can you tell me if Mr. Frank Chandler is aboard? I want to meet him, but if I miss connections, I shall not wait. Frank Chandler? Yes, Mr. Chandler's aboard. I thank you. You're welcome. Mr. and Mrs. James, the Princess Margie. Your Highness, I am delighted. How are you? Your, your Highness. <laughs> I, I, I guess I've never met a real princess before. Oh, please. I wish everybody here in America would forget that I am a princess. Well, just as you say. Nevertheless, you're every inch a princess. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mrs. Regent. I suppose you're very excited over Chandler's homecoming. I certainly am. He was delayed in Chicago, you know, but we're expecting him by plane tonight. Yes, we are also anxious. Uh, you know my children, Betty and Bob. Well, you remember Mr. and Mrs. James. Oh, yes. yes. How do you do? <laughs> how do you do, my dears? What adorable children, Dorothy. I think so. My, how they've grown. Oh, <laughs> shall we both? I'll see you later. Very well, Dorothy. Why did not Chandler come? Without him, I do not feel safe. Even here. Nonsense, my dear. Remember, you're in California now, not Egypt. Nothing can harm you here. Of course not, Naji. Don't get jittery now. Just put the soft pedal on that Chandu stuff. Uncle Frank refers to be known as just plain Mr. Chandler here in California. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know... To me, she's always trying to do. Oh, forget it. Come on, Betty. Let's have a dance. What do you say? Hi there, Pilgrim. Welcome to our city. You're in the air. Oh, please Oh, Bob, you're just in time to dance with me. Your brother's a most divine dancer. Well, I'm sorry, Judy. I uh, just promised to dance to Betty. Going to dance with your own sister? Why, that's positively simple. You won't mind, will you, darling, if I take it away from Mr. you? Mr. Regent. Uh, yes, I'm from the Daily Star. Can you give me some information about the Princess Naji? Oh, I'd be delighted to... Uh, pardon me, Judy. Let's go right over here. All right. Oh, I think that's positively fiendish. I still feel uneasy. I wish Andrew would come. Now, my dear, I want you to relax and enjoy yourself. I am Dr. Vada, and this is Mr. Sutra. We are friends of Mr. Chandler, but haven't the honor of Mrs. Regent's acquaintance. Chandler has not returned from the East yet, sir. Mrs. Regent is this evening. Thank you. Why, Naji, what is it? A terrible danger has just entered this house. Shandu is aboard the transcontinental plane, then, and my men will receive him at the airport. to do my bidding? Yes, Master. Swear, then, by the sacred symbol of Ubasti. I swear. It is well. Do not announce us to Mrs. Regent. That'll make a great story for the Sunday papers. Did the princess happen to come to America for any particular reason? Well, they did try to kidnap her in Egypt. She's very wealthy, you know. But uh, don't play it up in the paper. It might not be safe for her out here. It's a cinch it wouldn't be. Now, one more question. Is there any truth in the story that your uncle has some sort of magic power and is known in the East as Shandu, the magician? <laughs> well, my uncle was born in the Orient. In fact, he spent most of his life there. So you don't believe in magic, do you? Well, my well, uncle has I... studied these Eastern tricks and just happens to do a few of them now and then, that's all. But uh, don't play that up either. Bob? Yes? I've been looking all over for you. Pardon the interruption. Certainly. Mother wants you in the library at once. Oh, uh, you excuse us? You bet. Thanks for the dope. Sorry. Right. A 
That's all the row, Mother. Nadji feels some terrible danger has just entered the house. Oh, come on now, Nadji. This isn't Egypt, you know. I thought we left all that stuff behind with the mummies. It is real, Bob. Just as it was in Egypt. Nadji. Oh, we can do it only here. Well, he will be here very soon, dear. We can't take this warning lightly, Bob. You don't have to tell me that after what's happened before. I think I'll go and have a look around the ballroom. What good would that do? The dozens of Uncle Frank's friends here whom you've never seen. Gee, that's right. I know what I'll do. I will get the admission cards from the doorman. We may learn something from them. That's a good idea. Hurry. Oh, Bob. Yes? Aren't you going to dance with me now? Well, I've got to do something for Mother. I'm awfully sorry, Judy. I'll have to... I do believe you don't want to dance with me. Oh, Judy, dear. Whatever gave you that idea? When the princess enters the ballroom, be ready to give her a glass of wine. At my signal. And when they call a physician, remember that I am Dr. Vara. I understand, Master. Take this. Go. Find a booth right back there, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. James Thomas? R. S. T. Okay. Everything's all right so far. <laughs> Vara. Dr. Vara. That's a funny name. How about him, Betty? Hello. Oh, hello, Frank. Can you? Uh, yes. Yes, she's all right. But come at once. Let me speak to him. Can do. I feel danger. Come quickly. Oh, I'll be there in, in five minutes. Meanwhile, try not to be alone. Stay in the ballroom with the guests. All right. All right. Now don't worry. Just do as I say. Goodbye. Be ready. He must have hit it up from the airport after that plane landed. That's more than an hour's drive. But I guess he had more than one reason to hurry. Bob. Well, gee, Mom, we all know how Uncle Frank feels about Najee. The trouble is, none of us know how she feels about him. <laughs> it isn't any of your business, Smarty. Chandu's my very good friend, Bob. But that is all. It would be dangerous for Chandu to be anything more to me. He runs a great risk as it is in just being my friend. Well, my dear, your troubles and your fears are all over now. Hey, Mom, it's about time we're getting him to see our guests. I think so, too. <laughs> Princess Najee. 
May she live long and happily. And now a toast from our Highness. My friend, I want to tell you all how glad I am to be here in America among you. And in return, I offer health and happiness to you all. Much. Frank, oh, we're so glad you're back. Sorry, my oh. daughter. Gee, Frank, we're glad to see you. Hello, Bob. Chandu, escaped at the airport. I cannot understand it. Sutra. Pop, get the party going. Stop him down. Sure, let's go dance, Eddie. Come on. Had an accident? Yes. The glass seemed to fly right out of my hand. Nonsense. You must have touched it. Nito. One moment, please. Who has captured the mind of the servant? Nito, you will go to the library and wait for me there. Do you understand? Yes. You must stop it. Come, I will explain everything to you. Naji, I don't want to frighten you. But I have learned the reasons for these attempts to kidnap you. What is it, Frank? Naji, have you ever heard of the sect of Ubasti? Ubasti? Of the Lemurians? Yes, of the lost continent. The birthplace of black magic. What does it all mean, Frank? Recently, the perfectly preserved body of Osana, the last high priestess of Ubasti, was recovered from the sea. These people believe that they can bring their priestess back to life by a human sacrifice. Oh, what a perfectly terrible belief. The sacrifice must be an Egyptian princess of royal blood. Naji is the only living Egyptian princess. And the Yubasti will stop at nothing. Oh. An old legend prophesies the return of the lost continent in all its glory when Osana lives again. And they have chosen Naji. Oh. I have to tell you, Naji. But have no fear. We have faced dangers before, have we not? We will do it again. It's better to know the reason so that we may fight it out. Don't be afraid, my dear. I'm going now to question Ito. You may learn a great deal from him. You will answer my questions fully and truthfully. I command. Yes, sir. By whose order did you give the drugged wine to the princess tonight? By the order of the high priest, Vinjan. Vinjan? He was in this house tonight? Yes, sir. Sect of Ubasti has members in America? There is a meeting place not far from this house. Here in California? Where is this meeting place? I command you to speak. Speak. Where is the meeting place? There is an old house. A dead tree. A dead tree? Where is this house? How is it reached? Speak, I command you. It is reached by the road. From the canyon. Thank you. 
and wait for me there. Do you understand? Yes, yes. You must stop it. Everything to you. Naji, I don't want to frighten you, but I have learned the reasons for these attempts to kidnap you. What is it, Frank? Naji, have you ever heard of the sect of Ubasti. Ubasti? Of the Lemurians? Yes. Of the lost continent. The birthplace of black magic. What does it all mean, Frank? Recently, the perfectly preserved body of Osana, the last high priestess of Ubasti, was recovered from the sea. These people believe that they can bring their priestess back to life by a human sacrifice. Oh, what a perfectly terrible belief. The sacrifice must be an Egyptian princess of royal blood. Naji is the only living Egyptian princess. And the Ubasti will stop at nothing. Oh. An old legend prophesies the return of the lost continent in all its glory when Osana lives again. And they have chosen Naji? Oh. I'm going now to question Ito. You may learn a great deal from him. You will answer my questions fully and truthfully. as I command. Yes. By what did you give the drugged wine to the princess tonight? By the order of the high priest, Dingen. Dingen? He was in this house tonight? Yes, sir. Sect of Ubasti has members in America? There is a meeting place not far from this house. Here in California? Where is this meeting place? I command you to speak. Speak. Where is the meeting place? There is an old house. A dead tree. A dead tree? House. How is it reached? Speak, I command you. It is reached by the road. From the canyon. Again, you have risked your life for me. Nonsense, Naji. I saw it coming in dodge. Nito belonged to the secret sect of Ubasti. Oh. I don't want to alarm you, Naji. The sect of Ubasti has members, many members in America. And a meeting place here in Los Angeles. 
Me too. How did it happen, Uncle Frank? One of those dogs. Magic is no longer safe for you to remain here. Prince Andrew's yacht is in the harbor. I think we should accept his invitation for a cruise. I think that's a splendid idea. I have pledged myself to unite the soul of Naji, daughter of Egypt, with the body of Othana, priestess of Ubasti. That Ubasti may remain supreme throughout the centuries to come. Mighty Ubasti, everlasting ruler of darkness and wrath, open the gates of the future, that we may see in thy sacred fire how not to be. I see a mummy case. It stands in the house of... I see Chandu. And hear his voice. I'm leaving town unexpectedly. Would it be convenient for the museum to send for the mummy today? Certainly, Mr. Chandler. The museum is deeply grateful for your gift. Thank you very much. Any news, Uncle Frank? How is Naji? Well, she's in her room. She's still a little upset. We must keep very close guard over her, Dorothy. Naji's in great danger. Frank, why don't you place this whole matter in the hands of the police? Police. The police idea of magic begins and ends on the vaudeville stage. They would have ridiculed us. Besides, the resulting publicity would put Bingyan on guard. Good morning, Nigel. Good morning. I hope you had some rest. Chandu, you must let me go back to Egypt. I bring you only danger. Much. You must put such ideas out of your mind, my dear. You will be perfectly safe here until we sail tomorrow. Now I must hurry. Prince Andrew will be waiting. But don't be afraid. I'll be back soon. Bob, walk to the car with me. Bye. Ma'am, I leave everything in your hands. Naji must not be left alone for a moment outside the house. You can depend on me, Uncle Frank. By the way, the men from the museum will come for the mummy. Admit no other strangers. Right off.
for the princess. Oh, thank you. It is beautiful. Ready to sail at dawn. Come aboard whenever you like. It's an honor to serve Gandu and the Princess Nazi. The honor is ours, I see. you tonight. I don't care. I, I promise Uncle Frank I'd take care of her. We'd better have a look. in the morning. Everyone must be aboard tonight. Where is Nachi? Why, she's sleeping. Shall I call her? No, no. Just see if she has awakened. Hello, Uncle Frank. Everything goes all right, Bob. I never let Nachi out of my sight till she came in for a nap. That's the man.
drug. of a fan of priestess of Obasti. That Obasti may remain supreme throughout the centuries to come. Boy, that was a close one. Why, it must be two miles to the bottom of that canyon. Are you going to call him a yogi, Uncle Frank?
I am listening, my teacher. The opposing forces of evil are strong, my son. But let not thy fear control thee. But my teacher, Nudge is a prisoner of the Ubasti, and she's in great danger. Danger is unknown to the true believer. Have faith, my son. My teacher, where is she? Again, I say, let not thy fears control thee. Have faith, my son. Have faith. Open that other sound, Uncle Frank. Those drums are the evil forces of black magic. Are they stronger than the yogi? The forces are in eternal conflict. But the yogi said, have faith. shalt awaken only at my command. Soon thou shalt be on thy way to the moon. In an hour you will drive to the harbor and place the sarcophagus upon our ship. I will go and make preparations to leave at once.
Gosh, Uncle Frank, you sure did that in a hurry. Let's go. Step on it. What do you really think of me on these conditions? This is the fifth day now. No known drug will last that long. If the occult powers of Chandu have failed to awaken, it can be but one answer. You mean black magic? Is Nazi awake yet? Did you call him a yogi, Uncle Frank? Yes. But the forces of evil are supreme at the moment. The jungle drums drown out the other tone. Mr. Chandler. Yes. Can I please have a word with you? All right. You'll excuse us? Certainly. Bob, let's go and get you watch your flying fish. Flying? I'm afraid. That's what I wanted to speak to you about. A porpoise. You know everything, don't you, Smarty? Betty, there's a light. Well, it's probably another boat. Boats always carry lights at night, don't they? They don't fly signals out in the middle of the ocean. Look, there it is again. Yeah, I think you'd better tell Uncle Frank. Just because if you're landing on a boat, Uncle Frank has enough trouble.
wanted to speak to you about.
Drop that knife. Drop that knife. I'll tell you all about it later. Please take her to the cabin. What was that stunt, Mr. Chandler? Hypnotism? Well, some people may call it hypnotism. Whatever it was, it certainly tied that Hindu up in knots. Uh, what's happened to our Inca? One of them completely wrecked. Probably by that Hindu. We'll have to put in somewhere for repairs. Where's Prince Andre? You're looking swell. How do you do it? I don't know. Where's Uncle Frank? At the police station. Talking about put under the... No, sir, the police to see your Highness. The police? To see me? Yes, your Highness. Very well. You think anything could have happened to Chandu? Oh, not a chance. Uncle Frank can take care of himself. From Mr. Chandler, Your Highness. What is it, Martin? Nothing serious. Chandler wishes me to meet him at the police station. A mere formality, Your Highness. I'm sorry to disturb you. Why, what's happened? Is anything wrong? No. The police want to know something about Andre Dick. It's all right, Mother. Uncle Frank just sent this man for Naji, that's all. I think I'll go with you. No need to cover yourself, Mrs. Regent. The princess will be quite safe, I assure you. Oh, I was going shopping anyway. As you wish. The car is waiting. Naji, when you sent for her, and I thought... I? I sent for Naji. 
Uncle Frank, didn't you? Well, then who sent this note? of the jungle, playing the dance of death. Here in Suba. And the sister of Chandu shall die with her, and thus accompany her soul unto the high temple of Lemuria. Make ready to shrine. Seems hopeless, Bob. Oh, but can't we do something? Jungle drums. Real drums, Bob. Not the drums of magic. Let's go over and find out anyway. Yes. Yeah. Fail me. Mudge and Dorothy are here. Oh, gosh, I hope so. Take this to the commandant at once. Oh, gee, Frank, let me stay here with you. I can give this to a cop outside. No, Bob, just do as I say. All right. Oh, mighty Ufas. Dead priestess of Ubasti waits. Awaits thy soul, Naji, that she may live again. Thus thou art honored beyond all mortals. And thou too art honored, sister of Chandu, in that thou diest for the altar of Ubasti. Thank you. 
do. Where is the princess? Oh, mighty Upasti, eternal goddess of darkness and wrath, prepare to receive Naji, princess of Egypt, in thy temple of Lemuria. Mr. Chandler. Uh, may I have him call you back? Uh, Mr. Chandler is very, very busy right now. At last, I am safe. Yes, Nazri, you are safe. Binjam is dead. And all his followers are in the hands of the police. My troubles are all over. Yes.
che poi su può passi. The lost land of Lemuria waits beneath the sea. Secrets! How will go to Suba? Thou will bring the Princess Naji here for the sacrifice. Go. Oh.